Hey, it's Brad from Tiny, and I'm going to show you how to set up Tiny MCE in under two minutes. First, go to tiny.cloud and sign up for your account. All you need is an email address and the password you want to use. Once you click sign up and start developing, the platform is going to ask you for just a few more pieces of information so we can get to better understand you as a developer and what kind of projects you're working on. The system is going to send you an email to verify the email address you gave as your username. Once you click the verification link, you'll be redirected back to the customer portal. From the portal homepage, click Approved Domains on the left-hand menu. This is where you can add your dev or production domains. Localhost is added by default. Since I'm developing in a code space on GitHub, I'll add the domain for that here. Go back to the dashboard and click the Get Your API Key button to scroll down the page. This is where you're going to get your unique API key. We've also got a predefined code snippet you can use to get started. I'm going to copy mine now. I'm going to paste that into my HTML file. Here we can see the default tiny MCE editor loaded up and ready to use. Using this small block of code in the init script, you can change the settings for whatever features you want to use. You can see all the config options, as well as over 50 tiny MCE plugins on our docs site. Now that your cloud account is set up and tested, get ready to make something amazing and check out all the information in our docs site for how Tiny integrates with your favorite frameworks, including Angular, React, and Vue.